Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Technology Admirer. My name is Sovan, and in this video, I am going to show you guys how to record PC games totally for free with audio using Loilo Game Recorder. Just like I recorded this Minecraft gameplay that you are watching right now. Using Loilo Game Recorder, you will get no watermark on the gameplay video recorded. Also, there will be no time limitation on how long you can record. And all these features you get for free using this game recorder. Now to record gameplay, you obviously need a game that you want to record. Also you need Loilo game recorder installed in your PC. After it is installed, it will automatically open Loilo game recorder, but for the first time only. Now you need to go through all the settings of the game recorder so that everything is configured the way we want. To go to the settings, you need to click on the gear icon. Now after opening the settings window, you will see the option called save location which you can change to anywhere you want to save the gameplay video for example i want to save the gameplay video on my desktop and to change it all i have to do is click on the three dots and select desktop then click select folder the save location is now desktop below the save location option you will see settings related to video where you can select resolution frame rate and quality of the recorded video. I will highly recommend you to keep the resolution to original. What this is basically going to do is record the gameplay video in the resolution you are playing it. For example, if your video game's resolution is set to 1920 by 1080p, then it will automatically record the gameplay video in 1920 by 1080p resolution, that is full HD resolution. Frame rate you can select from 1 to 60 fps depending on the type of gameplay videos that you want to record. And the same thing goes with the quality option too. For this tutorial video, I am going to select 60 fps and 99 in terms of quality. These settings will give me the best quality gameplay video. Now you can see the option for selecting shortcut key using which you can start or stop the gameplay recording. Here I will recommend you to select a shortcut key that you will not use while playing any game. For example, numlock key so that you don't accidentally start or stop the recording while you are playing the game. After selecting shortcut key, you can go to this option called frame rate display, which you can either enable or disable. If you enable this option, it will basically show you the FPS and recording elapsed time while you are playing on the top left hand corner of your monitor. Now the next option is called recording mode. If you are not having any problem while recording gameplay videos, then you don't need to change anything in this option. Just keep the default settings which is high speed DirectX or OpenGL mode and you will be fine. And the last option is related to compatibility which I personally don't enable. After configuring all the settings the way we want, we can enable the option to record our own voice. To do so, you need to connect your microphone jack to your PC. After that, you need to click on this microphone icon and enable this option called record your voice. Then you can select the mic you want to record with. You can also adjust the volume of the voice recording and also enable this option which will adjust the volume of the game automatically as you are recording your voice along with the gameplay's audio. If you want to, you can also adjust the volume of speaker, system sound, microphone from this game recorder itself simply by clicking on this volume icon and then adjusting the volume according to your own preference. Now finally to start the gameplay recording after configuring this software, all you need to do is click on the three dots under the record game option, then select auto. After selecting auto, open the game you want to record. Then whenever you want to start the recording, you just need to press the assigned shortcut key. In this case, it is the numlock key. So that means when I press this numlock key, it will start recording the gameplay video. And if I press it again, it will stop the recording. After you finish the recording, just go to the folder where the recorded gameplay video is stored. In this case, it is stored in the desktop. And here you can see the video file. Now the video file size is huge, but the file size can be compressed without any loss in the video quality using any video converter or software like Handbrake. That's it for this tutorial video. I really hope that this video helped you. If it does help you, then definitely do subscribe to this channel. It will be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching.